Hey guys, so I didn't get to sleep till like maybe like 3 or 4 o'clock last night in the end. Um, and then when I did go to sleep, I woke up at like just before 8 o'clock. So I haven't had much sleep. So today shall be interesting. Um, I'm about to edit yesterday's and the day before. So the, what are we on? The 20th and the 21st vlogs. And then obviously today's the 22nd. So it is the e no, the eve of the eve of Christmas Eve. So three eves. Um, I rang the hospital this morning about my pedge and there's a little bit of a complication. Um, it's not really a complication, it's more of just like an annoyance. So I'm meant to be seeing um, this professor guy and he's like meant to be really experienced with people with EDS and gastroparesis and he's meant to be, he's gonna um, review me to get a gastric pacemaker. But I think he wants to see me before they decide to do a surgical tube, even though they already want me to have one. And the thing is, I'm going to have to have this NJ replaced again before I see him, because I see him the very beginning of March, which isn't overly that long. It's only like a couple months. But, um, yeah, so he wants to kind of, you know, uh, see me before that, which is really, really annoying can hear a lot of noise in the background but basically in my mind so their guidelines say that you have to get your NJ replaced again so I'm gonna have to get it replaced again before I see the guy so in my mind I don't want to go through another NJ then to have another procedure to get a page I'd rather just have the page and plus even if I see the guy on the 1st of March and he goes yep yeah, we're gonna we can do the surgery or we're gonna give it a shot then I've got to go to pre-op and then I've got to wait for that surgery date. It's not like it's going to be the next day. So it's probably going to be April, May, June, who knows. So then I've got to go from now to like June or whenever with an NJ. And at the moment it's just cutting into my throat constantly and it's causing like mucus and pus. And it's just disgusting. It's basically infected. So it's a good job on the antibiotics because that will help with that too. But yeah, so that's basically the update. Um... So today me and my sister are going to go shopping, um, get some last Christmas bits and stuff. I'm pretty excited actually. Um, I'm just really annoyed at my throat how painful it is. It's okay, it's not too bad when I'm talking. It's more when I'm not and I'm just trying to swallow or whatever. It's so painful. So... Are uh, done and uploaded. So, guys, go check out day 20 and day 21. Obviously, there will be probably links in the description for yesterday's vlog. Um, but apart from that, go check out my channel. Um, also, if you guys do want to like watch, let me get rid of them. If you guys do want to watch my um, playlist, there is a playlist of Vlogmas 2017, and you can just click that and you can watch all of the vlogs that have been uploaded so far. No. Are you gonna do a time lapse or not? No. Can't confirm. Good stop. <laughs> so this is the start. Is that gonna be in the middle? This is the start of something new. It feels so right to be here. <laughs> no, please continue. Yo! <laughs> so guys, this is the the start and we will see how far you've gotten when we yeah. come back. Good luck, my darling. I'll see you later. Guys, I'm buying the first Harry Potter book again. I'm so excited to read it. It's literally been forever. Um, and I want to get the whole new illustrated collection series. Nice. This is what mum got me for Christmas, guys, last year. It's actually an, um, a paint sprayer, isn't it, mum? Yeah. But Tom's using it to spray the cake. And that's edible food shit, isn't it? Food colour. Yeah. Oh, oh, You've made good progress, wise one. This is not the quickest I've made a cake. It's because you haven't been distracted. Yeah. <laughs> Clearly I am the issue. <laughs> Look how full 
this Christmas tree is getting. Um, this is a big bag of presents for a lot of people, so I've got to wrap all this now. Some of it is going under the tree, and some of it is going to like friends and stuff. But yes, the tree is getting very, very full. That is a huge present, by the way. Hey guys, so sorry if it's really loud outside, it's because for some reason my family do not know the meaning of quiet time. Let me close this window, see if it's any better. A little bit better, I can still hear the music though. Um, so today I pretty much, <clears throat> I pretty much just got stuff for everybody else, like more Christmas shopping, and that is the last of it except one thing, one present which we'll be kind of waiting to get back in stock, which we have to go get tomorrow, and that is it then. I've got everything for everyone and I'm exhausted to say the least um, um, but during our little adventure today I got two things well technically technically my mum bought me um, two of the things well three things yeah and I bought one thing um, so I got these flip flops they're just like really really cheap ones like they're fifty, just like plain white ones like this just because I don't really like, the flip flops that I have at the moment have like this like jewels on them and the soles, like the sole, instead of being like this, like ribbed, it's like literally flat. And when you're walking on anything that's like a flat surface, you just slip and there's no grip. So I've just bought like a cheap pair that I can just chuck on and they like will grip. And um, then I'm going to show you the dress that my mum got me, which I absolutely love and it looks so nice on. Um, so this is the dress that she got me. And this, she said it was part of my Christmas present. Well, she said it could be part of my Christmas present. But it's so, so nice on. Let me show, and show you. It's really, really pretty. I love it so, so much. And that was, how much was that? That was $36. Um, and they had it in my size, so I'm so glad. Um, I got, I did have like a bit of an emotional breakdown today when we were in a shop and I tried something on. And it was a size 8, which is like a pretty small size in itself. And I just, it just, it was so big and... That was the smallest size they did and I was just super upset that I couldn't find like because the shop was so nice it was just they had no small sizes um, but anyway yeah they're the, pretty much the two things that I got and then the thing that I bought myself which I have been saying that I was going to do for a while was the first Harry Potter book which you guys would have seen earlier um, and this is like the new design and I just I don't know I love Harry Potter so much um, it's literally got to be my favourite book series. Um, I feel like adults and kids can read it and it can be enjoyable for literally all ages. And obviously the films are some of the best films in my opinion. Um, I do think films 5 to 8, is it? I think, I think it's 8 films, are a bit more confusing and you have to pay attention a bit more. But they're still really good films regardless. But yes, so I've decided to buy what each book because i want to get the whole set of that so i'm going to buy the first book after i finished it watch the first film buy the second book watch the second film even though i've read them a few times over i haven't read them in a good while so i think the last harry potter book i read was probably the cursed child and that would be a good year and a half ago something like that so it's been a while since i've read anything harry potter um obviously i do know the story but again the books have things that the um films don't so Super excited to be reading that again, um, but yeah, I'm so tired, I don't know if you can tell, I'm just exhausted, so I have wrapped up all the presents that we got today, and that is it, now I'm done, finally, except one thing, but like I said, I mentioned that, um, I'm gonna go to sleep for a good while now, I really, really need to rest, because otherwise I don't know how I'm gonna get through Christmas, but hey guys, I'm gonna head to bed real, real soon, but I just want to address one thing really quick. And I just want to say that it's okay. Um, I've experienced hair loss in the past and most recently I'm not really tolerating my feet the best. My rate is pretty low. Um, sorry about the noise. I know it's really, really loud, but everybody is over for Christmas. There's like, I think there's like 12 of us in the house at the moment or something stupid. So there will be a lot of noise in over the next couple of vlogs, so I apologize in advance, but I just wanted to say like I know hair loss and or spots or stuff like that can make you super self-conscious but I just want to say it's okay like a lot of people experience it and you shouldn't be afraid um I know you guys think I have amazing lovely hair but it has gotten so thin recently it's just falling out like every time I brush my hair or run my fingers through it's just like clumps come out and that's probably due to malnourishment um but yeah, I just wanted to address it quickly because I did have a couple of comments on one of my videos and then a couple of comments on my Instagram 
Um, some of them were quite rude and I did delete them, but I'm not like ashamed, you know, like, I can't help it, it's my illness that causes it. But I just wanted to say like anyone who's out there is suffering, who is suffering hair loss, I just want you to know that it's okay, you're not alone and you shouldn't feel self-conscious about it. Um, and tips that I have is I use argan oil and that helps so, so much. For me, personally, it helps. Like when I don't use it, my hair gets a lot thinner and brittle, and that helps keep it nice and shiny and stuff. And it gives the appearance of thicker hair, in my opinion, even if it's not. Also, a tip, if you do have thinner hair, don't straighten it or use heat products loads because that makes it look more thin. I've just let my hair dry naturally, and then I quickly run the straightener through it in like big chunks, like chunks like this, just so I'm not straightening each individual section like, like that. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's why I just wanted to say that. Um, <clears throat> my throat's very, very painful, so I'm so sorry if I sound weird. Um, I just can't wait to get this tube off my face because it's causing me so much pain. Um, I will show you the cake that Tom made tomorrow. It's just I'm so tired and I really, really can't get out of bed. I'm just, ugh, right now, so I'm so sorry. But tomorrow, when I get up and I'm feeling a lot better, I will show you. Um... I started reading the Harry Potter book earlier. Um, I've only read maybe like a couple, like 10, 15 pages. <sighs> sorry guys, I'm trying to find like a position that's, sorry guys, that I keep moving around. It's just, I'm trying to find a position that's better for my throat that's not gonna cause me too much pain. Unfortunately, not many positions are helpful. Um, yeah, so basically that's the update. Um, I'm just trying to find like something to put on Netflix now while I try and like, go to sleep I did nap earlier but I was woken up by everybody like being loud and stuff and I thought I'd just stay awake for a bit um but anyway guys I really hope you're all okay I love you guys so so much thank you for the support as always give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and also hit that subscribe button down below I think either tomorrow or the next day we're gonna go Christmas lights like we're gonna go drive around and have a look at some Christmas lights which would be so so nice um and yeah, apart from that, follow me on all my social media, the links are down below. And I'm also going to leave a link to an app called MedSmart. I recently did a video with them, um, and I did a review on the app, uh, and I think it was a really, really good app. Obviously, all opinions vary, but I'll leave a link if you guys do want to check it out, and you guys can go download it. Um, but anyway, I love you all so much, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.